Greetings from MSS Projects Analytics. This Primavera P6 training tutorial demonstrates the use of filtering to focus on certain activities within a project. Filtering enables you to create custom layouts that limit the number of activities displayed and help you focus on a particular group of activities. For example, all critical activities within a project. In the first part of this example, we are going to filter only those activities that are critical. Primavera P6 has 15 predefined filters. These filters cannot be deleted or modified. Critical activities is one of these filters. The first step is to click on the filter button on the menu bar. If you scroll down, you can see the 15 default filters listed, then global filters after that, and then finally user defined filters. Ch click on the checkbox to the right of default filter called critical. Then click on apply. Click on OK. And you will see that only the activities that are critical in the project appear. You can verify this by looking at the total float column in the activities window and see that all the float values are zero. You can also verify this by looking at the bars in the Gantt chart and seeing that they're all red. This layout would enable you to focus on activities that have the most impact to the schedule. Now click on the filter button on the menu again and click on the box labeled All Activities. Click on Apply and OK. And now the layout shows all activities for the project. Now we are going to create a new user-defined filter for all activities we'll, that will start within the next month. This filter is commonly called the One Month Look Ahead. Click on the Filter menu button. Highlight User-defined filters. And click on New. And the, the filter dialog box appears. In the filter name box, Type one month look ahead. Then go down below to the parameter field and select early start. Under the Is field, select Is within the range of. Under the Value field, select DD for the data date. And then in the High Value field, we're going to type in DD plus one month, meaning all the values that are within one month of the data date. Click on OK and the dialog box automatically closes. Now we want to apply this filter to the project. Make sure the box is checked for the new filter one month look ahead. Now click on Apply, then OK. You will now see only the activities that are scheduled to start within the next month of the data date. This filter can be very useful for intermediate planning as it, as it looks at only activities that are to start within the near future. Now suppose we want to change this filter to look at, at activities that start within the next two months. Click on the Filter button, select One Month Look Ahead, and click on Modify. Change the filter name to Two Month Look Ahead. Change the high value to DD plus 2M for two months with, of, within the data date. Then click OK. The dialog box automatically closes. Now click on Apply, OK. You will now see all activities that start within two months of the data date. Now go back and click on the filter button and refilter for all activities.
If we, we want to look at only activities that are critical and that start within the next two months, we can do it one of two ways. We can either use two filters in conjunction or we can add a second parameter to a user-defined filter. The first method is to use two filters simultaneously. We do this by clicking on the filter button on the menu and looking we ha have a radio button that says show activities that match all selected filters. By clicking this radio button all parameters within all filters selected must be met. If you were to select the any selected filter radio button you would create an either or for all selected filters meaning that all activities that are critical or that start within the next two months are selected. So we want to click the radio button all selected filters. Select both the critical filter and the two month look ahead filter. And click on apply then OK. You have now selected those activities that are critical and that start within the next two months. Only those activities. Another way of achieving the same result is to apply several parameters to the same filter. Click on the filter button, click on all activities, and click OK. So again we filtered to all activities within the project. Click on the filter menu button again. Now select the two month look ahead filter and click on modify. Click on the add button. Another line appears that begins with and. Select total float from the drop down menu. Select is less than from the is menu and the value we're going to put in as 1. We have now modified the filter to meet both the parameter of activities starting within two months and, it, and that have a float equal to 0 or less. Click on OK. Now click on apply and OK and you will see the same results as the previous example. This layout can be saved for future use. Click on the layout options bar, click on save as, and type the name two month look ahead critical activities then click save. You may now access this layout at any time in the future. We hope this tutorial has been helpful and thank you for taking the time to view this Primavera P6 tutorial.